vlogmas day one baby yep Can you believe it? It's Vlogmas episode one. It's December the 1st. What a year. Honestly, guys, thank you so much for the support throughout this year. Hopefully you enjoy Vlogmas this year. Basically, if you don't know what it is, I will be uploading my day in the life of from the 1st of December all the way to the run-up of the big, big day being Christmas Day. So I'm going to take your beautiful faces with me and let's see what we get up to on the 1st of December. I think we need to get some breakfast first. So that is the first point of call. A uh, little bit of confession, it's midday, so uh, breakfast isn't on, but second next best thing, bacon and cheese turnover. And let's pick a drink that we want for the day. Oh, that'll do. Take the last one of that, Lucas A, thank you. Yeah, I must admit, it's midday and I've only just really started. Yeah, so we've got our essentials. We're now going to go hit a charity shop because it's on the way to the unit where we're going to pick uh, what we sold yesterday. We've got about 14 items to pick, so yeah, busy day ahead. Like I said, this charity shop is on the way to the unit, so it'd be rude not to go inside. So I'm a big fan of this brand, Hotter, but the men's doesn't sell as well as the women's. So for that reason, they're going back. This might be a little cheeky buy. Nigel Hall, 100% wool, blazer, £6. Really nice condition. Yeah, I might buy that. This also could be a buy. This is a nice phase eight padded downfill hooded long coat. So that's about 40 quid for this. And they want eight. So that's a definitely a buy. And also, I didn't realise that flannels do their own uh, items of clothing. This is just a nice long sleeve grey jumper. I think that's got to be worth. I think they are up here about 75, so I think six pounds is safe. And there we have it, 14 pounds spent, two items. We'll get them listed today and we should be looking at about 70 pounds back in return. But before we do list them two items, we need to go to the unit, it's on the way. Uh, pick the orders that we sold from yesterday. I think we've got about 14 orders going out, totaling around about 300 quid over Depop, Vinted and eBay. So we sold on all three marketplaces that I sell predominantly on in one day. So let's go and pick and pack them orders. Right, let's pick some goddamn orders. So, like I said, we've sold on Vinted and Depop and eBay. So we're gonna pick the Vinted and Depop orders first and then we're gonna finish off on the eBay ones. So this is the orders from yesterday going out and we have sold a pair of lower walking boots, which should be in the AY box, which are, I believe, here. Lower, decent little brand, sold on Vinted, Vibram Souls, lower. Like I said in previous videos, a lot of the time. Definitely a brand to be on the lookout for. Sold these for £30. Obviously with Vinted, no postage, no fees. So that is a Bish Bash Vibram Bosch. Yeah, Vinted, done. Next up, Depop. Right, into the B box for a Depop order. And we've sold, I do believe, it's this mega awesome Adidas Vintage Jacket. Got a nice little small print on the heart on the front, and then we've got this massive, massive Adidas logo embroidery on the back. That sold for £25 plus postage over on Depop. Like I've always said, cross listing, I thoroughly, thoroughly recommend, uh, especially when you're dealing with clothing, because some clothing sells better on eBay, some clothing sells better on Depop, and some sell better on Vintage. So that's a nice, easy £25 on Depop. Now on to the eBay orders. I think we've got about 13 eBay orders to pack today. Like I said, we had a bit of a booming day the other day. So let's get these picked and then packed. So the first order that sold on eBay last yesterday was this Cabotine or Cab, what? I don't even know how you pronounce that. Cabotine, Cabotine, like wet look puffer jacket. Paid £8, sold it for 30 so yeah, not bad indeed. Now, this is going to be a bugger to pack. Well, I say that, but I think that this will fit in a HelloFresh box. Paid a pound at Carboot, 
probably about three, four months ago. Only got round to listing it, and it sold for £23.99p. This is the Nerf gun, the Judge. It's not even one of them, like, battery-powered one. It's just a pump-action one. But still, I'll take that. I think a little bit of bubble wrap, a little bit of brown paper in a HelloFresh box. It goes. So into the an box and we've sold eternity 2 sold for 15 pound plus postage on ebay paid two quid should have probably stuck it on amazon now that i am actually officially on amazon and uh yeah i think it's going well so far i'm enjoying it but this sold for 15 pound on ebay all right into the cd box and we've sold i believe it's this green day on the radio sold for 4.99 free postage right into the ap box and we sold this pair of trainer these are just reebok slip-ons uh really good condition to be fair they only sold for 10 pound right we sold a pair of wranglers in this box apparently i didn't even think i had that many wranglers left please be a pair of wranglers you look like it yes sold them for yeah let's not talk about it. we sold them for 15 pound yeah. A pair of box standard slip on Samuel Windsor's sold for £25, free postage. Right, in the AN box, we've actually sold the Paul Smith polka dot shirt. This is going all the way to America. I think he's paid nearly 50 quid for that, and I get 25. So, Paul Smith sort of XXL polka dot shirt. It's a bit, it's a bit of a weird material to be fair. Uh, sold for £25, but the buyer has paid just under 50 quid via the GSP. Honestly, the GSP must, I don't know, they must make a freaking killing. Another pair of spoke trousers. This is the penultimate pair. Can you remember back in the day when I first started the one pound challenge and we bought 40 pairs of spoke jeans for a pound each? Well, I've got two left and this is the penultimate one to go. This sold for 20 pound plus three pound postage. Um, AZ, yep, there it is. We sold this Primark Happy Days, love it, just absolutely love it. Happy Days Primark jumper, it's literally just says chips, chips on the back and on the front. Look at that, it's a thing of beauty. Interesting fact, I don't actually like chips, so uh, that's why I sold it. And the last item is actually in the house because I haven't even got it out of the house to skew up into the new unit because it sold that quickly. It was a mountain warehouse, massive XXL coat, sold for £50. Now, that's a big bag for one day's worth of sales. So, let's get this into the car and we'll pack it together. Well, we'll pack some together. But before we do anything further, guys, can we hit 100 likes for today's episode? That is going to be the goal, 100 likes per Vlogmas video. So, stop what you're doing, smash that like button. Oh. The coat in question was this Mountain Warehouse Extreme. It sold for £50. Oh, this is a tenner. So 90% of my stock goes in these orange eBay branded packaging things, which I get with my £10 voucher pretty much every single month. Uh, and I get about 50 for pretty much £10 voucher because I'm a featured shop. So 90% of my stock just slips in nicely with these like so easy peasy lemon money and again with coats i have a slightly bigger version of them orange ones and they come in a beautiful light blue ebay branded packaging again again 10 pound voucher which you get when you become a featured shop so technically it's not free but it is at the same time so nice big large poly mailers for coats and jackets and blazers. Just a quick, 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 quick tip. If you have a UPS business account, you can apply for free boxes. That's correct, for free. These are perfect for board games, which is good, because we've got a board game to pack today. And just like that, it fits like a glove. Right, the last thing we've got to pack is the Judge Gun. And this, guys, is probably one of the main reasons why you should all start HelloFresh because the box is perfect, I think. I mean, would you, Adam and Eve it, look at that. Talking about HelloFresh, if you follow me on Instagram, I've got three free boxes to send. So 
be the first people to send me a message on Instagram and I'll send you a free box of HelloFresh, courtesy of HelloFresh. And again, if this isn't a reason why you should be doing HelloFresh, then uh, I don't know what is because that fits like a glove. Right, we've got a bit of bubble wrap around the gun. We're now gonna fill it with, yes, some Laura Ashley wallpaper. Don't at me, this Laura Ashley wallpaper was pretty pretty cheap, it was a pound. Only sells on eBay for about six, about six, seven, eight pound plus postage. So I thought, let's use it for packing material. And just like that, a beautiful boxed up Nerf gun. So I use a parcel to go to do my posters labels and today's posters cost 42 pound and 76 pence. There we have it. A nice roll of labels. We've picked out a few items to list. We've got about five or six items here, plus the two that we need to list because we picked them up in today's episode. Uh, yeah, we've got some interesting, slightly different items to be listing. Well, in fact, the first item we're going to be listing is this Adidas size 2, which is a small, and you can tell that by the number down there, Taekwondo sort of protector, body protector, head protect the helmet thing there these two together should be fetching about 25 pound and it owes us three pound from a charity shop and the next thing we're going to list is this Nest cafe dolce gusto coffee machine this actually came from the unit to buy out in my previous video and it comes with a lot a hell of a lot of latte mockers and mojitos and whatever you want to call it i don't drink hot drinks i don't really know what they are called they're just coffee pods but pff, all different types of coffee i guess uh yeah should be able to be pushing around about the 25 to 30 pound we're gonna yeet it up for 30 and obviously it offers it is actually missing its drip tray like the um the cover bit but i don't think it's gonna affect the value too too much so let's get it listed next thing to list is this vintage adidas champions league rucksack we actually got this from the unit buyout and I can't seem to find too many there on eBay or even on Depop or even on Vinted. So I have no idea what to price it at, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to say £25. And as I was listing, we've got a lot, a lot of Amazon boxes. Yes, I am selling on Amazon now and uh, this is fresh new inventory. Anyway, we'll leave that for now. Just uh, hopefully in the new year, guys, I can help with the Amazon side of reselling. Yeah, so I am slowly but surely getting myself back into Amazon FBA. I have done it once or twice before, but uh, hopefully give me yourself a month now and in the new year, I can hopefully uh, show you guys and teach you guys, hopefully, maybe in the future. Anyway, Let's get, turn the camera around. We've still got a few more items that I want to get listed. Next item we're going to be listing is these Tretorn sort of like rubber riding boots. Never have I ever seen this brand before, but the sales seem strong. So, I'm going to get these listed for about the £30 mark. So, if you ever see this, definitely be on the lookout for that logo there. And it's worth about 30 to 50 quid. Right, as I said, what we buy this Vlogmas, we have to list on the same day. So we've also got to list this Phase 8 coat and this Flannels sweatshirt. Never seen Flannels' own branded stuff before, so I had to pick it up and give it a go. Paid £6 for that, £7 for the coat. Should be looking at about, about 70 quid for the two items. We've listed approximately nine items, so a bit of Call of Duty, anyone? We are flying. That's us, boys. Phase eBay. We are flying. Messi and the crew are flying into the war zone, baby. No place like the Gulag. Uh, yeah, about that, we lost. Right, when we're dead on COD, there's no better place and time to list a couple of bits of media. This is the last lot of media that we've got a list from the unit. So while we play a bit of COD, we'll list these. Brilliant. I mean, they're not mega money. They're like £3.50 each, but it's easy peasy listings. Feedback fodder. 
Bish, bash, bosh. First, we need to drop these off. 28 consoles. I think this is the single, the, the only one that comes. Okay, question number three now. Think about this one carefully. Which is the most flexible muscle in the human body? Biggest and strongest bone in the human body. Yeah, I called it. <laughs> And there we have it, ladies and gentlemen. We came second in the quiz. It's now kind of like just gone past midnight. So that's Vlogmas number one done. Oh, cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow. What we're going to do tomorrow, I'm going to keep that a secret. There's nothing major, but there's some good stuff tomorrow. So yeah, make sure you do subscribe if you're new around here. Smash that like button, guys. Come on, 100 likes per Vlogmas video. Let's go and smash it. And... I'm going to give away free, uh, free, free HelloFresh boxes. So first three people to message me after watching this video on Instagram, I'll give you the boxes. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you beautiful lot tomorrow. Boom. <laughs>